Take a liter of cola. So I saw Super Troopers 2 today, and this was everything I could have possibly wanted in a Super Troopers movie, especially a Super Troopers sequel. Uh, this movie was awesome. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Um, it's a, the, kind of an interesting backstory to this movie. It was actually crowdfunded on Indiegogo and theatrically released. A lot of movies you see that are that are crowdfunded, like I say, Kickstarter, or Indiegogo, or whatever uh, site to donate money. It's usually um, not theatrical release. It's usually straight to DVD or straight to Netflix or something like that. But these guys, Broken Lizard, they uh, they managed to get a, a big, a big, huge release and on 420 of all days. Um, now the story behind Super Troopers is that you know it wasn't very well received uh, critically and it didn't do very well commercially. But because of DVD sales and through syndication, it actually got a big following and became a cult hit. Now, fast forward 16 years later, and you have something like you have a sequel. Now, what's this movie about? Well, all the guys from the Vermont uh, Highway Patrol, you know, Mac, Ramp, Ramathorn, uh, Farva, Rabbit, and Foster, and even the Chief, played by Brian Cox, they all, you know, kind of are doing their own thing. Um, there it starts off with them being in a construct, uh, working in construction, and being, a, or being lumberjacks, or just being a fisherman because of sort of an incident that happened as to why they're not cops anymore. Well, what happens is the 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 government of Vermont they were reassessing the borders between the U.S. and Canada, and it turns out that the border between uh, one of the ta this town, this Canadian town named. I mean, Saint Germain Laurent. I think that's how it was. Uh, is actually in U.S. territory, and what they have to do is go to this uh, Canadian Mountie station and basically do a turnover and turn them all into Americans. And hilarity ensues. Now, what did I like about this movie? Well, these characters, these guys, Broken Lizard, they have such good chemistry together, and they don't miss a beat when it comes to it. Like it's it you be. It's kind of, it really, it's not like, it doesn't feel like 16 years have passed. These guys play their same characters, and they still play them very well. Every character's still funny. And obviously, the best character of this movie, like in the last one, is Farva, played by Kevin Heffernan. He's awesome. These guys are awesome. Every single one of these guys, like, every, every character in this, too, is in this movie that was in the last one. I mean, except for the bad guys, but, uh, like, the... I mean, some of them are cameos. Like, for example, the uh, the chick that Foster falls for in the last one, she's in this very briefly. And a lot of the humor, it's... Uh, the thing about this about these kind of movies is that it doesn't focus on plot. It focuses on getting to the next joke. So the plot is kind of takes kind of the, a backseat to these jokes. And most of these jokes land, and, they're, and, they're all, and the ones that land, like, they're gut-bustingly uh, funny. And a lot of the jokes is like, oh, is making fun of Canada or Canada making fun of the of the U.S. And it's just it's so funny to watch this unfold. And you know, a lot of people are gonna be like, oh well, you know, the first one wasn't that good, so I'm gonna like the first one. If you like the first one, you're gonna love this movie. That's just how it is. If you didn't like the first one, I really doubt you're gonna like this one because it's basically the same movie. It's I would say. That Super Troopers 2 is on par with uh, with the first Super Troopers. It's that funny. It's that good, at least to me. Because the first one, you're gonna you're gonna look on Rotten Tomatoes and see that like, oh, it's got a 33%. It must not be that good. Critics don't think it's that good. I mean, yeah, I'm a movie critic too. I critique movies, but the thing is though, is that I know like that I may like a movie that other people will like, and I may not like a movie that other people will like. This is one of those movies. Like, I don't think Black Panther is that good, but it has a 96 on Rotten Tomatoes, so obviously a lot of other people do. But what makes this movie great is just it doesn't, it didn't try to compromise what it was. It took what worked in the first movie and applied it to this one. And it works very, very well. The one thing I will say, though, is that you have to be a fan of the first one in order to really enjoy this one. I don't see you being like, ah, well, you know, it's, I don't like the first one, but maybe I'll like this one. If you don't like the first one, you're probably not going to like this. 
I, like all the characters are great. Even the new characters are good. Rob Lowe, which it's surprising to see him in this. He is hilarious. He's awesome as as it. Um, I don't know how, what her name is, but she um the French chick that's in the that's in the trailer, the French Canadian chick. She's actually very good too, and. Like, the, a lot of the jokes, though, they also kind of revamp them to make them a little bit funnier. Like, the leader of Cola joke is, is back in this one. And, you know, they play a lot of the metric system. And just, I can't, I cannot approve of this movie more. I cannot approve of it anymore. It gets a 9 out of 10. 9. The only thing I have to say is that you have to watch the, be a fan of the first one to enjoy this movie. Which is the only thing I can take away from this. Other than that, this movie is amazing. All right, thank you everyone for watching my review. If you want to watch my last one, it is over here. If you want to click my face down below and subscribe, that'd be awesome. I try to upload at least once a week. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!